Okay, so here we have um, the specimen paper from 2015. Um, paper 4, that's when the syllabus changed to what it is currently and they added a few things like exponential increase and decrease and they took away certain things like stretch and shear and they also added things like recurring decimals and so on. Um, there's a question, question number one, it's like about percentages and ratios and exponential decrease and stuff that didn't come in the paper 2 of the 2018 June paper 2. And I'm guessing maybe some of those type of questions might come up in the paper four, so I thought I'd do uh, this question um, for the benefit of those people <coughs> who are taking the paper four in on Friday in a few days' time. Okay, so now, first question. Abdullah and Jasmine bought a car for $9,000. Abdullah paid 45% of the $9,000 and Jasmine paid the rest. How much did Jasmine pay towards the cost of the car? Uh, there are a number of ways we can tackle this problem. Okay, we can say, all right, Abdullah paid 45%. Well, the total is 100%. That means Jasmine paid 55%. So for Jasmine, she's paid 55% of 55% of 9,000. Okay, so that's 55 over 100 times 9,000. Or if you want, you could put 0 0.55 times 9,000. In any case, you get the answer. So 0 0.55, which is 55%, times 9,000. That gives us $4,950. $4,950. We could have found what Abdullah paid, and then taken that from 9,000 and get the answer, and that would have been fine. And that would actually have helped us because we've got to do something similar for part B, part two. A part two says write down the ratio of the payments Abdullah to Jasmine in its simplest form. Well, we know what Jasmine paid, which is 4,950. Abdullah paid, okay, 9,000 minus that. So we're going to take 9,000 and subtract the answer we just got, which is 4,950. We get 4,050. So 4,050. And we've got to reduce this to a simplest form. We can divide it by 10 first. So it becomes 405 to 495. We can divide it by 5. And continue and dividing until we get to a simplest form. To save yourself some time, as you're allowed to have a calculator, you could just do 4,550 divided by 4,950. And equals, and then it gives it to you as a fraction, which is... The ratio in the simplest form, 9 to 11. Okay. Um, last year it cost $2,256 to run the car. Abdullah, Jasmine, and their son Henry share this cost in the ratio 8 to 3 to 1. Calculate the amount that each of them paid to run the car. Well, the, the classic way of doing this is well, there are 12 parts altogether. You have 8 plus 3 plus 1. That gives you 12 parts. Um, Abdullah pays 8 out of 12 parts of the total and Jasmine pays 3 out of 12 parts which is a quarter of the total and Henry pays 1 out of 12 1 twelfth of option right that there, that's the answer space and um, Henry, Henry's paying one twelfth of two two five six, and then you can get your answers. Okay, there's also a very nice method that you could for some of those people who can't picture things or who can't quite grasp what's going on. We could do it in this way. This is quite a nice way. That's Abdullah. That's Jasmine. And that's Henry. Okay, so Abdullah has got eight, so I'm going to say that's two. Oops. Four and a half first. Four and a half. Four and a half. And for each of these in half. You have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not quite the same same size, but it's okay. 
and Jasmine has got three. So that's one, two, three, and one. Okay, so that's Abdullah and Jasmine <coughs> and Henry. Now there's two thousand two hundred and fifty six dollars and there's altogether twelve boxes, eight plus three plus one. So in each box will go two hundred and twenty two thousand two hundred and fifty six divided by twelve. Two thousand two hundred and fifty six divided by twelve. Two two five six divided by twelve. That gives us one hundred and eighty eight. Okay, so there's one hundred and eighty eight in each of these boxes. 188, 188, and so on. Okay, so we can see that Henry's going to have $188. We can see Jasmine is going to have three times $188. And Abdullah's going to have eight times $188. Okay, that's another way of doing the same question. Okay, of course, we'll get the same answers. So we have, <clears throat> we have 188 times three. That gives us 564, that's Jasmine's contribution. And we have 188 times 8. So, we get it back to 188. 188 times 8. Which gives us 1,504. So, 1,000... 1,504... 1,000, oops, 1,504, okay, so what we can see here, we just make sure we add these together and we get 2,256, so let's do that, let's add these together, we'll get 1,504 plus 564 plus 188. 2,256. Okay, so we split that into that ratio, and that's a simple question on ratios there. Now it says a new truck costs $15,000 and loses 23% of its value each year. Calculate the value of the truck after three years. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split this video into two parts. So I'll stop there and do part C separately.